All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but it's one I'm very excited about. There's been a lot of buzz around Android 16 QPR1 with the brand new Material 3 Expressive redesign. So this is honestly the first time I've been excited about an Android update in quite some time. And they've come out with beta one and beta two now, and I've been using the betas for just over a month. So this video is going to kind of break down everything I've discovered. And I'll also link a few articles in the description if you want to dive deeper. But for now, let's jump into everything new that I've seen. So let's go ahead and start with the UI changes. And one of the first things here is the brand new redesigned icons here in the top right. So we have a redesigned battery, Wi-Fi cellular icon in beta one. The Wi-Fi and cellular were actually switched in beta 2, but they swapped them. So now it goes the cellular, Wi-Fi, and then the battery, which is just a lot cleaner and a little bit more modern. Something else that was new in beta 2 is that they filled in the modes icons. So you can see the do not disturb icon is completely filled in and before it was not. You also have a blurred glass aesthetic everywhere. So if you go to the app drawer, you have the new blurred glass look. If you go to the Google search, you have the new blurred glass look. If you go to the recents menu, you have the blurred glass. And then of course, also the quick settings redesign, you have the blurred glass there. So really there's blurred glass pretty much everywhere and it just looks super modern and super clean as well. Also, if you close out an app, there's again a little bit of a longer blur than there was when you close out an app in Android 15. The at a glance widget here is a lot smaller, so you can actually fit six rows here of icons instead of just five. And then we also have a redesigned Google bar here down at the bottom. And we also have the newly redesigned Google logo as well as the new AI mode here. And then there's kind of a slightly more transparent bar around all of the actual widgets here. But I hope that Google will eventually add later on in this update is the ability to remove both the at a glance and the Google search bar. And this will just give us a lot more customizability with these new options here. You also have a little bit of a haptic feedback when dragging apps along, which is quite nice. And you also have an indicator, something that they removed that they had in Android 15. And then I hope that they add back is when you're switching apps between pages, there's not really a hint at the next page like there was in Android 15. So I hope that they definitely add that back. Now moving on to the quick settings here. So first with the notifications, there's a bit of a redesign here. This was in beta one. There's a really nice animation, very bubbly and haptic feedback as well. And it makes the notifications feel like actual buttons. So what happens is if you pull it long enough, then the other ones react and it kind of pulls them as well. Everything is just super bouncy. And so all of these notifications, they kind of bounce around. And we also have a redesigned clear all button, the notification setting button as well as the notifications history button here. They're all redesigned to be a little bit more modern and centered and it's just overall very nice. Then with the actual quit settings here, you have the redesigned brightness bar here and they actually move the icon in beta two to the far right side of the slider, which is something they did with a lot of the other sliders as well that we'll be talking about shortly. But the main thing here is you can actually resize the icons. So if we go into the editor, then you can actually, as you can see here, resize it, which is quite nice. And they also separated each of the icons into their own sections with names, which is much better than how it was in Android 15. And if you change something and you don't like it, there's an undo button here. And if you hit it, it'll change everything back to the way it was, which is also quite a nice touch that Google has added here. Again, you can really make this any way you want. You can see this is the QPR1 beta two here. We'll go ahead and close that out. 
Another cool thing here with the Bluetooth and the modes here for the do not disturb, for instance, if you hit the smaller button, it'll turn it off and then turn it back on again. But if you hit the bigger button, then you can actually expand the settings and change any of them that you want. And again, with the Bluetooth here, if you hit it, then you can go and switch out your devices. There's also a really nice animation here when turning them on. So if they're on, they're a little bit more rounded or so to speak. And then if it's off, it goes back to being more of kind of a circle shape. There's a really nice bouncy animation here as well. Moving on to the settings. So on Android 15 QPR one, this is where they redesigned it to be actually a little bit more sectioned off in the main settings page. But here they have some new, very colorful icons and a slightly better looking redesigned search bar here in the settings as well. But now if you go into the notifications, for instance, each section is also its own little pill shape for pretty much everything. And this is really, really cool and clean. So if we go to modes here, you can see everything is its own pill shape section here all the way down. They've also decided to fill in all of the mode icons in beta two for Android 16. So that's something that is new as well. Again, you have the brightness slider here where the icon has moved all of the way to the right and is a little bit different. And the same thing here in beta two with any of these sound options as well. So the sliders have all been moved to the right hand side with the icons and they all have the new material three expressive bar shapes to them. And then you have live captions here at the bottom as well. Again, if we go into settings here for things like the battery, we have the new filled in material three expressive bar look as well for the storage. And then again, if we go into the sound and vibration settings here, we have the very new clean modern material three. And then again, they're kind of broken down a little bit more into different sub menus just to make it a lot cleaner. And again, it looks really, really nice. We also have the predictive back gesture here that works really well. And you get a fantastic haptic feedback from that as well. Moving on to the lock screen, there's a couple different things that are new here. So you can see I do have the notifications to show you. One of them that was added in beta two is with the notifications. There's a bit of a translucent pill shape around them, which just makes it more clean and modern. However, if we clear all the notifications and turn it off, is that the at a glance widget and the weather and the mode you currently have on has been moved here to be below the clock, which I think is quite nice instead of being up here in the top left hand corner. Now, if we go ahead and let's unlock it and then go to the wallpaper and style, there's also a few things that are new here. So the first thing is we have in the wallpapers, there's this really nice animation if you swipe down into the menu and they have a new thing in the icon section. So we now have a small, a medium, a large and an XL instead of like five by five or four by four or something like that. You also have the new colors here and you have the color contrast, which has a new page. And then there's the icon section here. So currently the only thing here is the themed icons. However, hopefully in the next beta or two, we will have the brand new icon shape that you can change. And again, if we go into wallpaper, something new here in beta two is the live effects section of the wallpaper, which is very cool. Then you also have the suggested photos and things like that, as well as live papers, which is something else that's new. That's very cool that were added in the most recent betas. Now, if we go back into the wallpaper and style and go to the lock screen, there's also a few brand new things here. The clock now has its own page that you can change the style, the color and the size as well. And then with the shortcuts, very clean here, much better looking than Android 15. They've separated the menu for the left and the right shortcut. And there's a very nice clean circle around it to let you know which one you are currently looking at. And then each of them have their own menu, which is fantastic. 
You also have notifications on the lock screen. You can choose between the full list, which will look like this, or the compact view, which will look like that. So I personally really like the compact view. It's much better in my opinion. You also have the showed view notification icons. So basically if you look at them in the notification shade, they'll disappear from the home screen. Now we're going to be focusing on some of the changes for beta 2. So if we open Spotify here and we have a material three theming on the media player for any media that you're playing. So you can see here with the song background, it's kind of light gray. And then if we change it, it's going to change the Spotify, this phone and the pause and play button to actually match the album art on the song, which is really, really nice touch here. So thank you, Google, so much for adding that. You also have a really nice animation for hitting the play and the pause button here, and you can kind of see it flash across the screen and change shape slightly with the new Material 3 theming as well. Again, we can see it change colors, and it also shows up on the lock screen as well here. Again, there's a new G logo on the bottom of the screen, as well as the new AI mode here in the Google app. It shows up on your screen as well as the voice and then the search for your photos and everything. And the thing I'm also not sure when this showed up, but when using Gemini by holding down the power button, there's this really clean animation where it kind of squeezes your screen a little bit and then shows up. So that is very clean. And again, I'm not sure if that is something specific to one of the betas or not, but it is really, really nice. Then you can also see this with the new Google app, with the new Google logo as well, with the new redesign. Now, something else that's new in beta two that I can do an entire separate video on for you guys, if you're interested, is the new desktop mode here for Android 16, which is something that's much more advanced than the one that we had in Android 15. But again, there's so much to cover here that I can make an entire separate video on that. If you guys are interested, definitely let me know and I can make a video on that. So far after the two full betas and nearly over a month of daily use, I can confidently say that the new Material 3 expressive design is the most exciting visual update that Android has had probably since Android 12, which is when they introduced the Material U theming to the devices. That's it for now. If you notice something I missed or if you're testing out features that I didn't cover, please leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video.